Good afternoon. Thank you for coming. Um, my name is Jennifer. I'm from South Carolina. Listening to these testimonies, I'll give mine, but I have to say every single testimony could have been mine. We're all going through the same thing. So um, 30 and 28 years old, these are the ages that my children would be today. I had my first abortion at 14. My boyfriend paid for it so my parents wouldn't find out that I was sexually active. At 16, I had my second abortion. This time, I told my mother because I needed money. I had gotten pregnant by a friend and didn't tell him. And ironically, my mother and I did not tell my own father. It wasn't until I checked in for the second abortion that I realized it was the same abortion mill I had been at two years before. My memory had been so faded from the first abortion that I didn't even remember where I had made the appointment. I was worried the nurse would tell my mom about my first abortion, but she assured me my secret was safe and it was normal for women to have more than one abortion. At that moment, I resolved never to become pregnant again. Sadly, the children I aborted are the only pregnancies I've ever had. We, we know the fruit of abortion is rotten. Infertility, regret, years plagued with darkness and broken relationships. My life was overshadowed with anger and bitterness, which pour forth the militant feminism. Yet within feminism, the secret only deepens. The subject of abortion is always quickly chained and the idea of regret is balked at. I had a good career, freedom to travel, but I was dying on the inside. As I look back, so was everyone else around me. My family and my friends are all scarred by abortion. The men suffered too from my choice and their lives bear witness to those choices. Drugs, prison. It pains me that I took away their choice. It took two decades before I found healing and truth while at a Rachel's Vineyard retreat. They opened the door and let the sunlight end. God bless those souls that pulled me from that pit. But today is a new day and the night has ended. And as the Gospel of John bears witness, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. It is for my children and for truth that I will be silent no more.